Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from Japan, Japanese language English subs, released in the year 2015, directed by Shinsuke Sato, and this film is called I Am A Hero. So I Am A Hero is about this manga artist. He's not doing very well. He used to be really good, but he's gone into a little bit of a lull, and he has dreams of making it big again, but unfortunately, he just can't quite get that breakthrough. So unfortunately, one day, his partner ends up kicking him out, and he sees himself as a bit of a loser. He's got confidence issues, but he, uh, as I said, he wants to turn it around. He, he sees a brighter future, but he just doesn't know how to actually get to it at the moment. But unfortunately, all hell breaks loose when there is a virus that, uh, that breaks out that causes people to turn into zombies. Now, these zombies are creating havoc, and this man is charged with trying to fend for himself and actually try and find other survivors. So he ends up finding survivors, but then he realizes realizes that maybe being with survivors is in fact even just as dangerous as those of the undead. So what is in store for this manga artist and whether or not he can actually save himself is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on I Am A Hero. I actually love this film and the film succeeds for one very good reason and that reason is something that doesn't happen very often especially in horror films. Horror films it's all about the visual experience, the visual experience of you know ghastly violence, uh, you know, nudity, all the cheap uh, tactics that a lot of these films do but what the, a lot of these films lack is that number one ingredient for a horror film to work and that number one ingredient if it's done properly can be, make the movie very scary and it can make the movie very heartfelt and that one ingredient is a likeable character. I thought the main character of this film was so likeable, he was so relatable, he was this uh, you know, everyday person who had a lot of confidence issues and for that reason I could connect to this person, I could actually want this person to survive this zombie apocalypse and so when the horror aspects take place it makes it even more high stakes and so because it's at a high stake I believe that you know there's a lot more fear factor and that's something that it may seem very little but if you do it properly it can make the film one hell of an experience and that's exactly what I got from this film. This movie was absolutely fantastic. If you are a fan of zombie films then I Am A Hero is definitely a must watch. Now it is going to have everything that a gorehound wants. There's a lot of violence especially towards the end there's a scene that's going to rival Brain Dead from Peter Jackson if you know what I'm talking about, that scene at the end where there's a lot of blood, this movie uh, equals that with this one particular scene that I absolutely loved. I love the overall uh, costume design of these zombies. They were ferocious, they were very fast paced and so there's a lot of you know, intensity to that fear factor of that horror element. But as I said, the added intensity from the fact that you really root for this character makes it even more uh, appealing to a horror fan. So uh, cinematography was excellent. It's a very quirky style of film and it's actually quite a funny film as well. So it's it's not a movie to take seriously, but it does have that very serious element of this person that you can like so much, is that he doesn't have any quirky attributes that make him annoying. He doesn't come across as this arrogant, you know, superhero. He's this everyday person who has a lot of confidence issues, doesn't see himself in a very good light, and it's something that I could, uh, you can really relate to because there's a strong human element within this character. And so he really plays well off the other aspects of this movie, and I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. There are some generic moments, there are some cliched sort of plot devices that you see in a lot of zombie films, but as I said, that main character played so well by the actor is the reason why this movie goes forward and actually creates a shadow of its so I just thought it was absolutely uh, fantastic just the way that this main character goes about what he does. He's very reluctant to do what he does once again, which makes him a real person instead of a superhero. And so it's something you can really connect to because it's got that relatability. As I said, you actually fear for him. So when the zombies are attacking, you don't want him to get bitten. And so as I said, that's the one ingredient that a lot of films lack. And this is the reason, as I said, this movie actually steps forward. So it's a two hour film. If I had a problem with the movie is that it does go for a little bit too long. I thought that there were moments that could have been edited out and it would actually make the continuity of the film a lot more fluent. But pushing that aside, as I said, it's an absolutely fantastic film. It's a movie that is like a cartoon come to life, like a manga. Uh, I think this movie is actually based off a of manga. I I'm not sure. But uh, if you're into manga and you know that, you know, please feel free to drop a comment. But it has that cartoonish sort of feel to it where you're having a lot of fun, but it does have that very relatable character that actually makes the movie quite soul-searching. There were some emotional scenes. I thought the, the overall script was actually very well done. As I said, it's not taking itself too seriously. It's very self-aware in what it's trying to do. But it felt as though the serious element of this movie wasn't out of place. So everything really slots in uh, together very nicely to make a movie that I could actually 
uh, I was actually surprised at how much I invested myself emotionally into this character and so that was definitely the best thing going for I Am A Hero. It's got a fantastic soundtrack, the special effects, especially the practical gore effects was fantastic. As I said, there's a lot of blood in this film so if you are a zombie fan you're definitely going to get your fair share of blood but you've also got that added complement of emotional sort of investment in this main character that makes him so likeable therefore that fear factor is existing in what is a very good horror film. So if this sounds like something for you definitely check it out. It's got the wackiness of Japanese horror but it's got the emotional level that actually grounds the film and makes it worth watching so definitely go out there and see it. I'm going to give I Am A Hero four and a half stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later. Bye.